back to my channel okay so you're welcome back to another week of business nugget wednesdays with jadine i'm super excited to have you okay so do you know that one of the major reasons why a lot of small businesses quit within the first two years is because of the fear of rejection yeah you want to know why so please stay tuned <laughs> straight into the business of today now a lot of us dread rejection so much it's like a nightmare we want to wake up from someday yeah? but the truth of the matter is we've gone through rejection at some point in our lives either a relationship job hunting academics you know name it we've gone through rejection take a look at it here yeah? it's not all the jobs some of us have applied for that we got it's not all of the schools we applied for that we got you know for some of us you know so rejection is part of life it's almost inevitable so the same thing applies to sales the same thing applies to business now <laughs> if, if all the clients we prospected to you know all the clients we meet you know to market our product buys from us you know if we close every deal every contract we'll have more millionaires in the world today you know everybody will have a successful business at the end of the day the truth of the matter is that we can't always get everything that we want in life. That's just the way life is. So the difference between a successful business owner and one that gives up too early is their ability to be resistant and handle rejection and don't take no for an answer. <laughs> so therefore, in this video, we're going to be sharing with you strategies to handle rejection like a boss. Okay, so the first strategy to handling rejection like a boss is have multiple options, yes. So what happens most times is that we land a contract that is promising in quotes and then we're chasing this contract with all our being, landing all our eggs in one basket and we stop chasing other contracts. Now this is because we're very positive that we we'll get this contract here. But what happens if you get rejected? Now, what happens is that you get devastated, ah, you're just, you're, you're like back to square one, you know, because you have no fallback plan. You weren't chasing other deals, other contracts. But what if you were chasing other contracts while you're chasing this one that is promising, so to say? What happens when you get rejected is that mm -hmm, you, you beat your shoulder and you're like, yes, I have five other contracts I'm chasing. So if this doesn't work, this will work. This may work. You understand? So that is one way to handle rejection like a boss. Okay, so the second strategy to handle rejection like a boss is be mentally and emotionally ready. Yes. Now, it's okay to be hopeful that when you go, you know, chase that contract that deal you're going to get each and every one of them it's very okay to be hopeful but the truth of the matter is odds are that you will get some no's you may get nine no's before you eventually get the yes so what happens when you're not mentally and emotionally ready to take those no's before you land the yes is that you get frustrated and at that point odds are that you would quit so that is why as an uh, entrepreneur, you have to learn to be mentally and emotionally ready. So that when the no's come, you'll be like, yeah, it's part of it. I know that the yes is in front. So be mentally and emotionally ready for that rejection. Okay, so the third strategy is remember that it is business and not personal. So when you get a no out there, it is your business proposal that is getting a no and not you as an individual. So getting a no doesn't suddenly mean that you're worthless as a human being. So do not let your emotions come to play. It's only natural that you feel some type of way, but do not let it come in between the way because trust me, you and your business are two different entities. So do not treat yourself like you are the one getting the no, not at all. It's your business, all right? So that is another wonderful way, you know, to scale through rejection. Like, okay, so the first strategy is be resilient yes you have to learn to be resilient grow thick skin push through the nose because trust me business comes with its hurdles and rejection I for one experience rejection on a daily basis but we what we move right so that is the attitude you ought to have to business because if you you know approach these things with a sensitive 
weak mentality, you would quit along the way. But take a look at it this way. Imagine that you have nine no's and you just quit at that point. Little did you know that the tenth was going to be a yes. So that is why you ought to be resilient so that you gather the stamina to be able to stay true till that tenth deal that you get the yes eventually. Don't you think it's worth it? I think it is worth it for your business growth. Now, if you found this video helpful, kindly like, share, comment. You never can know whose business you'll be saving out there. And then, as a business owner, if you've been handling rejection in some other ways that is different from what we've stated in the video, please kindly share with us in the comment section. We'd love to learn from you as well. Thank you so much. We'll be anticipating your contributions. But before you head out, kindly subscribe so that you don't miss out from valuable content like this whenever we put them Oh, I remain your host, Joy Ogweji. See you next week. Much love. Handle rejection carefully this week.